All right, so we're going to go ahead and change the ROM on the Samsung Admire. The ROM that I'm going to change it to is Android World Order uh, Volume 1. So I'll go ahead and start the video for you guys. First thing is we need to get into recovery. Now, you will definitely need Clockwork Mod on your phone. Um, I would suggest Clockwork, the, the, actually, the latest Clockwork Mod is actually version... Eight, so it's 5.0.8 definitely suggest that to get on your phone because you will need that on your phone in order to put the ROM on so I'll go ahead and boot up into uh, safe mode for you guys so of course you know you have to press these buttons here to get in there I'm trying to boot directly into the recovery right now so as you guys can see, I'm in the recovery right now. Okay. First thing that I want to do is actually, I'm going to go ahead and go into advance. I'm trying to make it so you guys could actually see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the volume down button on the side of the phone right here. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to advance. Once I'm in advance, I'm going to hit the home button, which is right here. You guys can see. I'm gonna hit the home button to enter that menu. So here I go. So I'm into the advanced menu right now. If you guys can see. I know it takes a while for this camera to uh, focus, but trust me, I am in the advanced menu right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna scroll down to white Delphic cache. Okay, which is the second one. I'm going to hit the home button to save it. I'm going to use the volume down button again, scroll all the way down to that option here. Wipe down the cache, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Just going to go ahead and wipe it, and then I'm going to reboot the phone back into recovery. Excuse me. Now, once the phone actually boots back into recovery, the second thing that we're going to do here is actually go down to where it says "Wipe Data and Factory uh, Reset." So we'll go down to the third option in the recovery. If you guys can see, I know it takes a while. It's not that great, but I'm trying the best that I could do here. But I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go down to where it says wipe data and factory reset. So I'm going to go up, hit the home button, and I'm going to go down here. Select that option. Then once I select that, then I'm good. I'm going to go back into the main menu of the recovery option and then I'm going to go down to white cache partition. Okay, so I'll go ahead and select that. Use the volume button again, of course, and I'll go down to that option. As you guys can see, I'm going to use the home button to select this. And after every selection, if you guys can see, your phone should give you these this type of information it should give you that it's actually complete so with every with every uh, object that I do and every selection that I made it tells you at the bottom that it's complete so cache is white and it's completed the next thing that we're going to do is go to mounts and storage we'll select that and then I'm going to go ahead and select format system data which is this one select and I format it now once it's 
selected then I'm gonna go back out to the main recovery option again I'm gonna go into advance okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select advance again I'm gonna wipe Delphi cache again now once all of that is done then it's time for the easy part I'm gonna go ahead and select to install the actual zip file from the sim from my SD card so as you guys can see I have a whole bunch of stuff on here so I have to go through it and find which one is the downloaded ROM that I downloaded on the computer okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here because that's the new ROM it's actually A W O Aromo Aroma I guess and I'll go ahead and select that here I'm gonna install now <clears throat> once it's installing it should pull up this right here it's kind of an interactive uh, option so if you guys can see it's gonna tell you to select your theme um, I will just go ahead and select the first one it doesn't really matter which one you select it's best because I've tried two of them and it's pretty much the same thing so we'll go ahead and click next at the bottom of course you have to select the user agreements go ahead and read that and next okay then we'll hit next again and here you have to actually select um, you want to select the best the best installation that that suits you your needs okay so for me I'm gonna select the top one now you want to read it before you actually select it because some of them you know uh, actually one of them is telling you that if your phone is 900 megahertz go ahead and select it I mean I think this phone here is 900 megahertz but it gives you some different options as far as 900 megahertz 800 megahertz if you want to overclock it and so on here it already has titanium backup selected and the application launcher NEMUS for time's sake I'll just go ahead and select that and hit next now that I've hit next now it's actually installing so if you guys can see it's installing right now now you will need some patience to deal with this okay and like I said I'm gonna have all the links in the uh, dis description so if you guys wanna check that out feel free right now it's at five percent it's pretty much doing a lot of stuff here it's reading a whole bunch of files extracting files and putting them into place So that's sixty percent. You know it's flashing the nine hundred megahertz kernel. Okay. Now it says that it was successful. So press next to continue, which I'll do right here. And then right here it has finish. I'll go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> now it's actually done. Now time for the second part. Basically we're just going to wait until the phone uh, comes up. So it's going to take, you know, a few minutes. And we'll just have to be patient while it's coming up. Of course, you guys see it has the Metro PCS boot logo or boot screen. If you guys watch my review, I said that that's that's one of the things that I didn't like about this ROM is that it actually has the Metro PCS boot logo. Um, 
but other than that, has some pretty neat features. So we'll just wait for the phone to come up. You guys can see it's just taking up a little bit of time. Now, once the phone comes up, then it's pretty much all done from there. Uh, here's a Samsung boot screen. Still taking this little time. But uh, just have to have a little bit more patience here. The first time when I was actually doing this, uh, I was just about to turn the phone off because sometimes you do have problems with the phone. You know, it doesn't go as planned. So you just have to restart. Maybe you missed the. Uh, you missed a step so it's always good to watch the video that way you could actually pause the video feel free to pause the video when you're watching it just to you know rewind just to get you know did I miss something you definitely don't want to you want to follow the directions to the team you know because um, just one mistake can miss your phone up and of course you know you do it at your own risk but for me I love to customize my phone so you know I know that these guys from AndroidForums.com, you know, these guys know what they're doing and, you know, I pretty much put my trust in them when it comes to my Android phone. So that's pretty much it. You definitely want to back your phone up, though, before you even start um, this process. Back your phone up. Okay, so if you have Clockwork Mod on your phone, go ahead and back it up. If you have the stock, um, if you have the stock uh, ROM on your phone from Metro PCS, unfortunately, you will not have that option for you to back it up. But once you get Clockwork Mod on your phone, you'll be able to back, back your phone up without any problems. Okay, still going. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Popped up. As you guys can see, it's already reading my network at the top here. I'm scanning my SD card right now just to make sure everything is good. I want you guys to actually see it, so. But basically, that's it. That's the new ROM. You know, that's the new ROM. Feel free to check it out. And I already did the reviews for you guys, so you guys could check the review out if you want to, um, you know, watch it before you want to, you know, do the actual installation of the ROM. But everything runs smooth on this ROM. I have no problem so far. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe. All right? Thank you.